Give me, give me. So, <coughs> on the 36th shloka, we saw that Nihatya Dharthrashtra na kaaf priti syaj janardana papame vashre rasman hatvai hatvai taan atatai na ha. Even after, even though these Dharthrashtras are atatai, still what? Having killed them, nihatya taan hatva taan nihatya kaaf priti syaj asmat asman hatva atataina hatva papameva ashrayet so we saw that papameva ashrayet Arjuna is telling Krishna that what is going to accrue to us no happiness will come to us what will happen is finally etan atataina api even if they are atatai still tan hatva asmat asman papameva ashrayet only papa will accrue to us nothing more is going to happen and he has already said that his state of mind he has expressed in the earlier shlokas also. Further in the 37th shloka he says, Tasman narha vayam hantum dhartara ashtran sobhandavan svajanam hi katham hatva sukhira syava madhava. Hmm. So. <coughs> Sorry, I uh, there's there's a word that I uh, missed there. Uh, as in, I just wanted to explain a little about Janardana. So Janardana, uh, although it's a name of Krishna Sanya, still. There are a lot of Vigra Vakyas possible. So if you look up the dictionaries, those who are interested can look up the dictionaries, but it's too complicated. There are many ways in Janardana is interpreted. I have given the simplest is Jana Namna Asura Nardati. So there are some uh, Asuras called Jana and uh, he, uh, one who kills him is called as, uh, kills them is called as, those Asuras is called as Janardana. Thereby also Vipatti is possible. Janan Ardhati, that's another way to look at it, Ardhati and Ardh there, uh, it can be Gati Artha Ka Dhatu also, instead of hurting it can mean Gati and thereby it can Janan Hara Rupen Ardhati, he leads them by protection, uh, so uh, Ardh there can be interpreted as Gati Artha Ka and say that he uh, leads them by protection. Uh, Therefore, he is called as Janardana. And there are so many other Vitpatis possible. Uh, with Jandhatu also it is possible. Uh, there are many other ways it is seen. So, the next shloka, uh, in the next shloka he has said, <coughs> Arjuna has said, Tasman, Tasmat, therefore what? Tasmat, Tasmat na arhaha. Arha vayam na arhaha. We are arha ardhatu is means ought to, ought to or should. What should we do? So we are not ones who are capable or ones who should do that. We aren't do. So arha is kartari there, kartari tadi. Vayam na arhaha. Vayam na arha. We are not not capable or we ought not to do. We are not ones who ought to do something. What hantum? Hantum na arha. We are, we should not. So the meaning would be we should not kill. So arha will bring that dhatu kind of meaning. So we are not ones who should be killing. That's how it, uh, the formation would be. Uh, understanding would be that way. Tasma. Therefore, why? Tasma, because he's already said that papa meva ashre. And we are not ones who should be collecting papa. We should be collecting punya. And all of this killing our own people will lead to <coughs> Kulanasha. He's already uh, indicated that that uh, in the Tika, in the Tika we had seen in Sh Shankaranandi, he has said that although they are Atatai, still uh, killing our own people will lead to Kulanasha and thereby will accrue Papa. And therefore, Tasmat Vayam, <coughs> Tasmat Vayam, 
तस्मात् कारण तस्मात् कारणात् वयम् भारत राष्ट्रान भारत राष्ट्रान हंतुम न अरहा we are not fit we are not yogya arha is yogya yogyata is we we are not of those kind we are not those who do papa so we are not fit to do this kind of papa fit to as in negative negative sense we are we are above these kind of people so dhartarashtran are these are this is karma in dvitiya bhuvachana dhartarashtran who are so so bandhavan so so bandhavan this so bandhavan dhartarashtran is a karma to hantum वयम् स्वाभावान धार्तराष्ट्रन वी आर नॉट कैपेबल ऑफ किलिंग देम तस्मा भोगचना तस्मा देवरफॉर न अरहाहा वयम् वयम् स्वाभावान धार्तराष्ट्रन तुम न अरहा और तस्मा स्वाभावान धार्तराष्ट्रन तुम वयम् न अरहाहा वी आर नॉट फिट And then he is saying, He Madhava, Syama. So Syama is the, uh, is Vidhiling, Bhavachana, Uttama Purusha Bhavachana. He Madhava, he says, He Madhava, Sambodhana, Vayam, he says, uh, Sukhina, Vayam Syama, in Vidhiling, Asdhatu, says, We, R, we are what? Uh, R or not R, uh, vigiling meaning. So, would be, we would be. We would be what? So, we, uh, Katham, Swajanam Hattva, Vayam Sukhina Syama. We would be what? So, you have to start from the verb. Here also, Arha, verb equivalent. Vayam, so Vayam is a Karta. Arha, Vayam, Na Arha. Na will go with the verb inside this Dhatu of the uh, verb equivalent krudanta pada here vayam na arha we are not yogya we are not fit for what hantum to to kill we are not fit to kill them who so hantum there you have an account of uh, dvitiya vibhakti dhartarashtan sobhan sobhandavan dhartarashtan hantum vayam na arha and tasmat is leading from the earlier sentence here also syama syama is vidhiling of asdhatu so we us plus us plus vidhiling we are we would be we would be what we would be sukhinaha prathama bhuvachana we would be happy sukhi sukha asya asti iti sukhi sukhi and uh, in plural it will be sukhina sukhi sukhino sukhinaha how would be so those who are happy those who have happiness meaning those who are happy so how would we uh, he says we would be happy and then katham if you put in there katham how would we be happy how how would we be happy this is the question doing what hatwa having killed so this is also verb equivalent having killed having hurt or killed indeed or because swajanam swajanam is second case because hatwa having killed whom here the akanksha will be having killed whom swajanam so therefore here uh, vayam vayam sukhinaha syam syama so vayam sukhina syama this is the basic idea first but then katham is said so exactly opposite how would we be happy it is a rhetoric now how would katham vayam sukhina syama having done this what Hatva, Hatva, Hatva katham vayam sukhina syam, then Hatva is killing whom, having killed whom, their karma is swajanam, our own people. Swasya janam, swajanam, swasya janaha, swajanaha and tam swajanam. Swajanam hatva, 
swajanam hi hatva he generally goes in the second uh, in the anvaya it should go in the as a second word he should not lead the sentence you should not have he cha all this in the big api all this in the beginning of the sentence api sometimes you see but he should not be there in the beginning of the sentence it can be used as a second word generally it gives a uh, it's a good construct to make that way so swajanam hi hatva katham vayam sukhina syama means Sukhina na syamo. We will not be happy. That's what is being said. Having killed ours, and you, in fact, we can uh, put this earlier also. This way also it is possible. Taking that tasmat is not connected to the earlier sentence. We can say that it is connected to this. Swajanam hi atva katham katham vayam sukhina syamo tasmat swabandhavan radharthrasham hantum vayam na arha. So both ways it can be seen. Uh, where you think it makes more sense, as in. which makes more sense in the flow you have to read the next sentence or to also to see how uh, which way you connect or both ways also you can take the meaning further the shloka says next shloka says yadyapyetena pashyanti lobho pachetasah kulakshay krutam dosham mitra drohe cha patakam something wrong here <coughs> for some reason the pc has slowed down so i think uh, सो यद्यपि यद्यपि पश्य लोभो उपचेत उपहत चेतस कुलक्षय कृत दोष मित्रद्रोहे च पातक Here also, here Shasti, Swasthya Bandhavan, uh, Dharthrasa anyway is Taddita and Swajana is Swasthya Jana, I already said that. Uh, Sukhina is uh, Inyantapada. These are Samasas, I am trying, uh, sometimes we will look at these Samasas also. So, Mitra Drohecha Patakam, Yadi, Yadi is an avya, Yadi, Yadyapi, Ete, Ete, okay, this is the problem, so. उपहतचेतसाधिकरण they do not see na pashyanti you need plural karta kartari pashyanti kartari prayoga prathama bahuvachana so you need karta in prathama bahuvachana what is that ete so ete na pashyanti ete na pashyanti they do not see who are those uh, another pada in uh, uh, another pada in prathama bahuvachana lobho pachitasa so lobho pachitasa is what chetas chetas is what chetas means uh, the mind antakarana so is it uh, these ate ate na pashyanti these people do not see so chetas is not a person so chetas is a mind therefore this is bahuri it is not talking about chetas it is anya pada pradhana so chetas ha in plural chetas is and chetas is also neuter another thing is chetas is neuter sakaranta नपुंसकलिंग सो टू गिव अवे वन एते न पश्यंती वी आर नॉट अगॉन्ट माइंड डू नॉट सी पोइटिकली पॉसिबल बट हियर एते न पश्यंती दे डू नॉट सी बिकॉज ऑलरेडी ऑन द बैटल फील्ड इज टॉकिंग अबाउट धार्तराष्ट्र 
he is talking about uh, dhartarashtram hantum so they do not see they are ready to fight with us but we do see we are no arha they are capable we are not capable to uh, uh, i mean um, do this papa karma they are capable this is the this is arjuna's thinking there thereby we know this cheta sending pada is not napunsaka it is uh, and it does not decline like napunsaka also here cheta although it is possible to decline, uh, poetically say that the minds do not see but here this is a pulling a shabda cheta saha uh, he says lobha upacheta saha lobha upacheta says do, so minds those who have minds bhauri those who have minds minds which are what minds which are upahata upahata means they are uh, hata means kill but upahata is they are uh, kind of destroyed or you can say <coughs> weakened by what lobha under the influence of so those mind those who have minds which have uh, got more or less destroyed or weakened due to lobha so lobhe na upahata so hata is tanta so earlier pada will likely be tritiya so lobhe na upahata lobhai hi lobhai upahata um, chetas so chetas will be what uh, chet chetas is neuter and uh, it's nepunsaka so lobhai hi upahata ha उपहताह उपहताह चेतांसी ये शाम थे सो इट्स अ लिटिल डिफिकल्ट टू मेक द कंस्ट्रक्ट सो लोभई ही उपहताह उपहताह और हता दिस कैन बी इन आल्सो उपहतानी लोभई ही उपहतानी चेतांसी ये शाम थे सो डिफिकल्ट यू हैव टू लुक अप हाउ Generally, whatever is in Samanadi Karanam should go in the same linga. So Chetas is neuter. So Chetas will decline like mostly like Manas. So Manas Mana Manas Manasi Manamsi. So Chetas Chetasi Chetamsi. Now you have made Chetamsi. Uh, minds are destroyed. So destroy Upahata is in Samanadi Karanam. Tanta can decline in all lingas. So being in Samanadi Karanam with Chetas, this also should be in neuter. So Upahata ni. Akaranta will decline uh, as upahatani, phalam phale phalani. So upahatani chetamsi. Uh, and by what? Due to what? Due to lobha. Or uh, are destroyed by lobha. So lobha uh, is not one. Here you have plural. Even if it is uh, chetas is one, lobha is plural. So obviously when uh, chetas are many, then lobha are also many. Lobhai hi upahatani chetamsi yeshamte. Those who have. So that's how you make the. If there are any errors, you cross check those. Lobhai hi upahatani chetamsi yeshamte. Lobho pata upahata chetasa. Lobho pata chetasa. सो एते लोभोप लोभ लोभोप हत चेतसह न पश्यन्ति हु आर दोस देयर मोस्टली इन हिज माइंड ही सेइंग धर्तराष्ट्र सम टीकाकार दे सिंग दे से दैट अदर्स इन द पांडव पक्ष आल्सो दे डू नॉट सी दे आर आल्सो रेडी टू किल सो यू कैन टेक बोथ बोथ आर पॉसिबल बट मोस्टली इन हिज माइंड इट इज दे आर अदर्स सो इफ ही इज कंसीडरिंग other pandavas and all uh, dhartarashtras that's one paksha then he is saying that uh, but you and me you and me or we some of us in pandava paksha we see uh, they don't see but we see uh, what what we'll see in the uh, next part of the sentence ete lobho pate cheta saha na pashyanti and the other paksha only these duryodhana paksha they, they, they in the other option Arjuna is telling Krishna that although these uh, Kauravas don't see, Dhartarashtra no Pashyanti, and they are low because in, he, in his mind, uh, Pandavas, which seems more right as Pandavas are not those whose minds are colored by Lobha, colored or destroyed by Lobha. They are only Kauravas because uh, 
uh, if you uh, know from mahabharata they they had seen uh, that the if the war can be avoided it should be avoided even till the last moment they had accepted even earlier they had uh, asked for some land they gave some dry land some uh, uh, some part of the uh, forest area where nobody goes and uh, nothing can be done there but still they uh, they brought out a beautiful palace there they did uh, rajasuya yajna ityadi and they really became the emperors there but then uh, all this after all after all the discussion went through later on much later they said that okay you give us five villages just mere five villages but uh, duryodhana said no i will not give you land even measuring the tip of the needle so thereby uh, in arjuna's mind it is not that pandavas are lobhopata lobhopata chetasa in his mind they are only kauravas so that seems to be more appropriate so ete lobhopata chetasa na pashyanti na they do not see so this this is sakarma kadhatu drishdhatu what do they not see they do not see what uh, that is for a kulakshay krutam dosham na pashyanti they don't see this dosha which will, dosha is all this papa which is mentioned earlier hanana papa so hanana pata va papa they are not seeing dosham therefore dosham na pashyanti so you add another word here dosham na pashyanti in second case the second case singular it is karma to drishdhatu in pashyanti and what is that dosha dosha is is kulakshay krutam dosha is krutam generated generated by what krutam generated so krutam kena krutam so kulaksh kulakshayena krutam kulanam kshaya kulakshaya shashti tatpurusha and kulanam shayam destruction and then tena krutam tena krutam is this kulanam kshayam kulakshayam kulakshayena krutam kulakshayen kru krutam dosham so kulak shaya kulakshaya krutam dosham na pashyanti they don't see the papa which will which is generated due to destruction of kulas families that dosha they do not see and and what else they don't see mitra drohe cha patakam so patakam that dosham is also papam and this patakam is also papam patakam what patam mitra drohe mitra drohe cha patakam so this can be a vishaya saptami mitra mitra drohe mitrasya droha mitra droha droha would be likely be pullinga let me check ya pullinga bhavi ghai so ghai will be droha yeah, you see uh, drudha so droha mitra drohe uh, mitra drohe cha patakam na pashyanti they don't see kulakshay krutam dosham and mitra drohe mitra drohe patakam cha na pashyanti pataka is papa and papa in what papa in mitra droha mitrasya droha mitra droha or mitranam droha droha is basically uh, cheating cheating their friends that also they don't see so this is 60 and we left the others which we can add yadyapi so even then so even if even if they don't see yadyapi they are none the wiser but we are so he is comparing there in his mind he is saying yadyapi ete lobhopate chitasa san so it is being so lobha san as in or santa in plural lobo lobhopa chitasa santa kulaksha being this is the reason this is hetu garva visheshana to uh, why they don't see uh, this papa which is created uh, generated due to kulakshaya and mitra droha Uh, the pataka which is created why do they not see this is hetu garva visheshana hetu garva visheshana hetu garbhe yasya visheshanasya uh, that visheshana which has hetu in its belly hetu as in belly is in, in the in the word formation itself there is there is a 
cause, there is a reason involved there as to why they do not see. Uh, so, lobo, lobhena upahataha cheta chetamsi. So, that the mind being colored or destroyed. <coughs> I am sorry. So, the mind is destroyed and they are not able to think because it is completely colored by raga, by raga and dvesha, it is colored. Lobha, due to lobha here, but I am just saying whenever mind is colored due to raga, dvesha, ityadi, by these gunas, then buddhi does not get bandwidth to act upon and thereby uh, my antakkarana plays the role only of the mind which is in doubt, saushaya or which is under influence of some raga, dvesha or lobha. Here. Thereby they do not see, but we do see. Therefore, in continuation, he says what? Next shloka. He says, Katham Rajniyam Asmavhiv Papad Asman Nivartitum Kulakshaya Kurtam Dosham Prapashyad Bhir Janardana. So, in continuation, he says, They do not see, but we do see. Therefore, Prapashyad Bhi. He says, Etena Pashyanti. But we see, so katham na jnayam, jnayam vijnayam, how do we not know asma bihi papat, I am just giving the meaning there, but papat asmat Nivartitum Kulakshek Krutam Dosham, the way it has been said earlier, that itself, Prapashyad Bhihi. Janardana. So, hey Janardana, hey Janardana, he is asking him, hey Janardana, Katham. Na niyam. So niyam is the verb equivalent here. Niyam. Not known. So not known. This is niyam. You see nyadhatu and you see this uh, kritya pratya. How uh, you need uh, see a krit pratya which says that ya, some kind of pratya. Ya, nya has become niyam and niyam. Not known. Niyam. Vidyam, how is it not known? How is it not known? By whom? So with that Akanksha Asmabi in Tritya. How is it not known by us? By us? How is it not known? So hey Janardana, Katham Najnyam. Basic sentence when you say Katham Najnyam. Katham Yajniyam, how is it not known? By whom? Katham Asmabihi Najniyam. Asmabi, how by how is it not known by us? Asmabi. And who are those Asmabihi? Prapashyad Prapashyad Bihi. Prapashyad Bihi Asmabihi. How is it not known by us? Who are Prapashyat? Prapashyat uh, meaning those who are seeing. Prapashyat is uh, Prakarshena Pashyadvi, uh, those who are seeing very well. Prakarshena, very clearly we are seeing. We know dharma. We know that uh, even killing the atata is we will accrue papa. So we are seeing all this. And even if we are seeing all this, how is it non, not known by us? What? So there what is, what are we seeing? Prapashyat, so this is Shatrantapada, Prapashyat. What are we seeing? We are seeing Kulakshaya Kritam Dosham. Those who, those who, we who are seeing. By, how is it not known by us who are seeing Dosham, Papam, which is generated by Kshaya of Kula, which is Krita by Dosha which is Krita by Kshaya of Kula. And what is not known? Asmabhi Katham Najniyam. What is not known? Nivartitum Najniyam. How do we Asmabhi 
निवर्तितुम कथम न ज्ञेयम निवर्तितुम निवर्तित तुमुनंत तुमुनंत नव्यय निवर्तितुम सो टू नॉट निर्तितुम निवर्तितुम सो देयर इज निवर निवर्तितुम सो निवर्तितुम इज टू टू डी निवारणा हाउ वी से पाप निवारणा इफ एंड निवारणा हियर इज थिंकिंग अहेड if this papa is going to come from us you have to withdraw from this so how do we not know to withdraw to withdraw from what asmat papa asmat papa is in this papa karma papa here is not the phala of that karma because they have not actually done that karma but he is thinking ahead that this is a see karma also has two meaning karma means the activity that one does as well as punya papa which is the result of karma is also called as papa uh, called as karma karma phala as well as karma both are called as karma similarly papa and papa karma both are called as uh, papa punya and punya phala both are called as punya so punya karma punya phala both are called as punya papa uh, karma and papa phala both are called as papa here papa is papa karma asmat papa is asma asmat papa karma ha asmat from that papa karma to do nivarana from that nivar nivartitum kasmat nivartitum asmat pap papat nivartitum so asma bihi asmat asmat papat nivartitum na jnyam so katham or is katham na jnyam or we can think this katham here he janardana kulakshay krutam dosham prapashyad bhi asma bihi by us who are seeing this dosha seeing as in understanding we clearly know from by them by us who are of these type this type asma bihi asmat papat nivartitum nivartitum katham nagneyam katham nagneyam so how don't we know this is the meaning idea is how is it non not known by us to withdraw from this kind of a papa karma meaning we already know so this is panchami is akanksha for panchami akanksha for nivarana nivarana from what nivarana from this from this therefore panchami kulakshay krutam dosham prapashyad bhi will be kulakshay krutam uh, by us who are seeing seeing what kulakshay krutam dosham mm, therefore katham na jnyam jnyam is not zero sorry jnyam is asmabih katham nadim how is it not known and those who are seeing seeing what thereby karma to that is in titiya dosham dosham prapashyat bih asmabih he janardana sambodhana how is it not known to withdraw from this papa again a rhetoric mean katham nadim means neem eva we already know therefore we know that we have to withdraw from this papa karma meaning this war itself before it begins we have to withdraw further further he explains his thinking there as to he says कुलक्षे प्रणश्यति कुलधर्मा सनातना धर्मे नष्टे कुलम कृष्णम अधर्मो अभिभव्युत इसे कुलक्षे कुलक्षे प्रणश्यति प्रणश्यति प्रकर्षेण नश्यति कुलधर्म सु वेन कुल दिस इज सती सप्तमी कुलक्षे सती when kulakshaya happens then what happens pranashanti then they are completely destroyed what are destroyed pranashanti kula dharma are destroyed so nash dhatu see nash dhatu when you translate uh, they destruct they as the nash dhatu translation would be like even kartari translation would be like uh, karmani i have said earlier also nash as though it works on itself as in Uh, when you say something destroy destroys itself when you say something is destroyed means so ghata is destroyed pata is destroyed means not that someone destroyed it thereby they are not karma but they destroy themselves so they you say the pot dis- destructs itself right or pot is destroyed when you say pot is destroyed 
you can say by whom you can bring that akanksha in karmani but you are saying that uh, how will you make kartari kartari also will be the the uh, uh, pot got destroyed you will say by itself got destroyed so here is pranashanti uh, kula dharma get destroyed so this will say okay, get destroyed uh, they themselves get destroyed kula dharma therefore prathama bhavachana they get destroyed kula dharma kula naam dharma kula dharma ha shashti Satpurusha Sanatana, Sanatana they, which are there since the, the, we don't know how long the Kula has been, whenever, as long as the Kula has been, so, so long it has lasted, the tradition has lasted, Kula Dharma is tradition of a particular culture or tradition that a particular family follows, this is very important and that's why we say that tradition is a living tradition, any tradition, teaching tradition or uh, the family tradition, it's a living tradition. You learn from your uh, seniors, you learn from your uh, parents, ancestors, they have been teaching to the next generation. Unfortunately, it's that's why you say lost in tradition. What is lost in tradition? Whatever was there earlier is getting diluted. But he is saying Kulakshay, when family itself is going to get destroyed, then the Kuladharma, well, Kuladharma, the traditions will not be there, the value system will fall apart. In each and every family, they preserve their value system and those are have, those have been forever. Sanatana ha, Kula Dharma ha, Kulakshe Pranashanti. So Kulakshe Pranashanti, what will get destroyed? The Kula Dharma. Kula Dharmas will get destroyed. Sanatana ha, Kula Dharma ha, Pranashanti. Sanatana ha, Kula dharma ha, Kulakshaye pranashanti or Kulakshaye sanatana, Kulakshaye saptami can be in the beginning itself. Kulakshaye sanatana ha, Kula dharma ha, pranashanti. And what will happen after that? Then in the, in the sequence is dharme nashte sati, dharme nashte sati, Kulam Krishnam. Krishnam is complete. Abhivhavati Uta. So Uta. Uta is like indeed. Abhivhavati. Adharmaha Abhivhavati. Dharmaha Adharmaha Abhivhavati. What will happen? Adharma will spread. He says. Hmm. Sorry, I Abhibhavati Kulakshesana Kuladharma Pranashanti Adharma. Okay, this, this is the next one. Somehow it has come here. Okay. Okay, so Kulakshay Sanatana Kuladharma Pranashanti. Dharme nashte sati. What happens when dharma gets to sati saptami? Dharme nashte krutsnam kulam. Uh, you can bring the anurutti of this. Pranashyati. In, uh, you can change the vibhakti. Uh, not the vibhakti. You can change the number here. And you can say kulam dharme nashte krutsnam kulam nashtam bhavati. Either say nashtam bhavati or nashyati. Both ways you can say dharme nashte Krishnam Kulam Nashyati or Nashtam Bhavati Adharmaha Abhivavati Uta Adharma Uta Abhivavati Indeed Adharma once this Dharma is gone once Kulaksha has happened Kula Dharma goes once Kula Dharma has become Nashta that is Dharma Nashta is Kula Dharma Nashta or any Dharma generally any Dharma when it is destroyed what will happen Dharma Nashta Kulam Krishnam Kulam uh, Abhivavati uh, Nashyati and then Adharma Abhivavati what happens once dharma is gone, once kula is gone, then the uh, adharma takes over. So abhivavati you can say overpowers also. Adharma overpowers. After that only adharma overpowers. Even little dharma which is there, that also will not have any space. So uh, kulam is neuter. So this is kulam. Krishnam kulam. Krishnam is means completely. Dharma nashte. Dharma Nashte
ருச்னம் குலம் பிரணஷதி and then adharmaha uta abhi bhavati <coughs> over powers you can say indeed indeed krishnam complete complete family is destroyed and then <coughs> adharmaha uta abhi bhavati next shloka says and in continuation he is he is uh, this is like a pack of cards uh, arjuna's mind is running havoc now once he is thought that this is adharma papa will come uh, after that he is thinking what will be the effect of this war he, everything is uh, uh, the chain of thoughts are continuing in his mind and thereby it is running havoc he says so like a pack of cards it is falling and he says the chain reaction is talking about what is going to happen after that is adharma vibhavat krishna pradushyanti kulastriya strishu dushta su varshne jayate varna shankara अधर्म अधर्मा भवि अभिभवात अधर्म अधर्मस्य अभिभवात आफ्टर दी ग्रोथ और ओवर ओवर पॉरिंग ऑफ अंडर द इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ अधर्म सो अधर्मस्य न धर्म अधर्म नंच तत्पुरुषण अधर्मस्य अभिभवात अभिभवात पंचमी अभिभवात व्हाट विल हैपन injured the wrong piece okay so adharma abhavat krishna krishna he krishna pradushyanti kulastriya pradushyanti and then further strishu dushtasu varshne he varshne त्रिषु दुष्टासु सत्सु सती सप्तमी अगेन हे वार्षणेय जायते वर्णसंक वर्णसंकर जायते वर्णान शंकर वर्णसंकर मिक्सचर ऑफ वर्ण वार्षणेय इज अगेन वृष्णिकुले जाता वार्षण सो वार्षणेय इज वृष्णिकुले जाता संबोधन विभक्ति ओ कृष्ण हियर इज इज ओ कृष्ण एंड देन सिंस इज टॉकिंग अबाउट कुला Uh, and varna also he says varshneya therefore he is saying hey varshneya who is in vrishni in vrishni kula uh, krishna was born so uh, the sambodhana also brings in that his name also brings in that kind of a meaning there that's why arjuna is saying hey varshneya to bring about importance of these varnas and kulas he is bringing in by calling him varshneya by uh, using a sambodhana of the name which has uh, kula in it since he is talking about kula stri ityadi adharma abhavat so this is uh, due to that so panchami hetau panchami hetau panchami here adharma abhavat due to growth of or due to this overpowerment of uh, overpowering by adharma what will happen krishna he krishna what will happen Pra- kula striya pradushyanti pradushyanti is ever so the women will get corrupted pradushyanti will get corrupted who will become corrupt or not will, will kulastriya kulastriya the uh, women of the family generally uh, in the in dharma we all know in uh, hindu dharma at least there is a protective mechanism protect our women uh, dharma shastra says that when uh, and it is also said that uh, being at home also they t- take care of the families they do a larger job so they they are Uh, they are to be provided protection taken care of because they have other important matters to look into they generally don't have 
time to train themselves to protect themselves. So that's how that's one angle to see. So kulastriya pradushyanti. What will happen is that dharma nashte, kule nashte. What will happen? Adharma will grow. Once adharma will grows, then even women will who are generally who uh, do not engage in adharma, they will also start engaging because men step out out of the house. Uh, they are fighting the battle and then uh, once they also uh, they do not remain to protect the dharma or protect the woman, then what will happen? Women will also go astray and thereby pradushyanti, kulastriya pradushyanti due to what? Adharma bhavat. Due to adharma, what will happen? Uh, due to growth of adharma, he krishna, he krishna, adharma bhavat. हे कृष्ण अधर्मा भी भवात कुलस्त्रियः प्रदुष्यंति देन ड्यू टू दैट देर इज अनदर इफेक्ट व्हाट विल हैपन स्त्रीशु दुष्टासु हे वार्षनेय हे वार्षनेय स्त्रीशु दुष्टासु सत्सु सत्सु वंस सती सप्तम जस्ट टू से सती सप्ति सत्सु व्हाट विल हैपन व्हेन व्हेन वुमेन आल्सो लूज देयर धर्म then what will happen? Jayate Varana Sankara. Then they will intermingle with others as well and then thereby Varana Sankara Jayate. There will be mixture of Varanas. Now this is important. Uh, in today's society people may not think it is important but generally genetically also you say that uh, the intermingling of classes is not good. Uh, not as genetically only but if you look at it from the perspective of dharma here the perspective is of dharma whatever dharma is followed by a particular varna and an ashrama and kula that should continue for the society to remain stable the stability goes when varna shankara happens because when a person is born in a particular varna he or she comes with a particular set of mindset particular mindset particular vasanas have taken form in the mind and that has led at the end of the earlier janma, those vasanas have led that particular person in a particular yoni. With that mindset a person is born with that karma and in that particular sharira only, Ishwara has been kind to give that kind of sharira, whether it is a stri sharira or a purusha sharira or a napunsaka sharira or, or a prani sharira or a Pashu Sharira, Manushya Sharira, Devata Sharira, in those particular Shariras of particular gender with a particular, var, in a particular Varna, in a particular Kula, in a particular Desha, Kala, all these have to come in play for those particular desires to be fructified for the Jiva. The Jiva wants that particular Janma, whether a Stri or a Purusha Ityadi, the Jiva wanted that. If that is denied, then that karma will remain to be fructified later. So there is no growth if one steps out of one's own varna ashrama dharma and steps out. When they get intermingled, then what will happen? Uh, of course, it will provide a particular kind of a jiva to get janma as a varna sankara in that family. But still, the varna dharma will go, thereby the papa will accrue to the earlier. Parents will get papa. The uh, the putra or putri who is born in that varna sankara, they they will get an, that jiva will get an opportunity to exhaust its karma in that janma, but the parents will accrue some some other dosha and thereby their uh, gati will get affected, uh, because of course it says there is an overall effect. It is too simple simplistic to say that this is what will happen. Gana uh, karmano gati hi. Nobody can know what exactly happens in karma, but uh, Shastras give us uh, some hints and some ideas as to what should be done so that uh, the dharma continues. Otherwise, what exactly happens is with that uh, adharma, nobody knows as to what is the progress of jiva, how it happens, but this is how it is explained. Adharma bhivavat he krishna kulastriya pradushyanti dhuhtasu sreshu dhuhtasu satsu he varshneya varna sankara jayate. He Varshne Varna Sankara Jayate. There is, and he is explaining that what happens. Here he is just saying that there is mixture of Varnas. Further, what will happen when there is mixture of Varnas? That he is saying in the next sentence. 
in the next shloka he says when sorry okay varna sankara jayate so jayate here varna sankara jayate again varna sankara is prathama vibhakti this is saptam all this i'll just mark a few you can mark the others वर्णशंकर जायते कुलस्थ्रिय प्रथम बहुवचन प्रथम बहुवचन प्रथम पुरुष बहुवचन ओके जायते जोशो Let, all these are lat lakara here here it is pradushyanti so this here is also it is uh, must this must be the fourth gana dhatu this is also uh, it is uh, not is you know don't see here it is not here here it is not lat lakara this is also lat lakara but uh, here although it is lat lakara uh, jayate pradushyanti he is saying this happens what happens he is saying and we can see the meaning of latlakara can be in near future also you can use latlakara therefore this will happen so thereby that will meaning can also be taken as what will happen out of that result uh, due to that okay i don't have the other shlokas where are we we are in 41 okay 41 शंकरो नरकायो के Just give me a moment. I'll copy this, Lucas. Then what happens? He says further, Sankaro Naraka Yeva Kulagnanam Kulasya Cha Patanti Pitaro Yesham Yukta Pindu Dakak Kriya Ha. What is an effect of that further? This chain continues. He says. in his understanding of karma he says what is going to happen further and this mind you he is so so much under this uh, his mind is carrying him so much that he is telling all this to krishna as if krishna does not know so he is telling this to krishna himself sankaro narakayev so sankarah sankara is varna sankara varna sang the mixture of varnas will do what narakaye ev it leads to narakaye ev uh, here it is tadarte chaturthi narakaye ev bhavati naraka sankarah narakaye ev tadarte chaturthi ev indeed it will lead to naraka for whom kula gnanam kulasya cha kula gnanam kulasya cha he says kulagnanam kulagnas uh, gna this would be like uh, upapada tatpurusha uh, kulan or kulam uh, ghanti iti kulagnaha and tesham kulagnanam kulasya so upapada tatpurusha handhatu upapada tatpurusha those who destroy the kulas those who destroy the kulas for them for those who destroy the kula as well as for the kula itself kulasya kulagnanam cha sankarah naraka eva bhavati because you don't see a uh, verb here of course verb you see here patanti so if you just take patanti 
पितर पतंती पितर पतंती ही एषा केषा एषा कुलघ्ना एषा कुलघ्ना पितर पतंती दे फॉल वेर डू दे फॉल पतंती मीन्स सी पितर आर नॉट हियर द पितर आर एनसेस्टर्स रियली एनसेस्टर्स हू आर हैव इवन रीच बेटर लोका पितृ लोका स्वर्ग लोका Even if they have reached, then what will happen? They will fall from this from swarga to naraka, basically. That's what he is saying. Lupta pindo da kaha kriya ha. Lupta pinda uda ka kriya ha. So pitara ha prathama bhuva chena. And this is also they are not talking about kriya. Kriya ha patanti is not being said. Kriya ha in in stri kriya is a stri linga. क्रिया पतंती एंड पितर पतंती देर आर नॉट टू थिंग्स क्रिया के नॉट फॉल पितर द फोर फादर्स और एनसिस्टर्स फॉल एनसिस्टर्स फॉल एशाम देर एनसिस्टर देर दीज एनसिस्टर्स ऑफ दीज पीपल ऑफ कुलग्नास फॉल फॉल फ्रॉम स्वर्ग और पितृलोका दे फॉल पतंती दे फॉल एंड हु आर दोज पितर those who are their pitras who are what lupta pindo da ka kriya ha so they they are pitra har kriya ha something not kriya ha lupta pinda pinda uda ka kriya ha they are ones who have kriya have kriya so therefore bahuri this is bahuri kriyas which are the kriya pinda and uda ka kriya pinda is basically pun pinda and uda ka both are shraddha kriya इन श्राद्ध पिंड इज गिवेन एंड उदक वॉटर इज तर्पण तर्पण इज गिवेन सो पिंड श्राद्ध कर्म एंड तर्पण इफ दे आर नॉट डन टू पितर टू फॉर एनसेस्टर्स एंड एनसेस्टर्स हू हैव गॉड गति देर आर टू टू थिंग्स हियर वन इज दट वेन अ पर्सन जीवा लीव द शरीर दैट टाइम द जीवा मे और मे नॉट बी रेडी फॉर द नेक्स्ट शरीर बट द प्रारब्ध कर्म इन दिस शरीर इज ओवर till the person is ready for the next sharira there has to be some place and that place is decided by the karma earlier karmas which is ready for fructification now thereby particular loka is given to uh, that uh, jiva that can be any of these lokas if if that if the antima kriya is not done the last kriya of uh, letting the jiva get the next gati which is done uh, with the uh, vaidika dharma if all that is not done then there is a possibility that the jiva suffers suffers because there is a relation the, the jiva was born in that particular kula the pitras pitras where the ancestors were also born in the same kula because there is some karma connection there the uh, they were supposed to bring some joy to their parents they were supposed to bring some sorrow to their parents or uh, relatives all together there is some karma connection lot of karma connection which has brought that jiva in that family now when they pass on when they go to other loka for that loka also there is some karma needed by not only by the ancestors but also by their children their children should do some kriya for that jiva to get gati it is the responsibility of the children to do that if they don't do that then the jiva may become preta sharira and thereby some uh, suffering may be there for that jiva uh, may not get progress into another loka if they go to other loka then also what what kind of happiness they'll get in the other loka that is also uh, uh, dependent on the kriya done by the children there is a connection not only does the jiva gets karma phala of oneself but the karma karma done by his his or her children also thereby he saying what will happen to ancestors if we if we ourselves do some activity which will lead to naraka not only that we will drag our ancestors also to naraka this is his thinking there so he says kula gnanam those who destroy kula why because that there is an attachment to the kula till the uh, the jiva who has done a particular set of karmas being in that kula when that jiva progresses to another loka like pitru loka it is called a pitru loka because they have memory even in that sukshma sharira 
they have memory that this is my son, this is my kula, I was there, I have come here and thereby till they get next sharira in maybe some other kula or same kula, till then they have that memory and that memory brings that attachment as to uh, my children should do this, they bless us if we do a good karma, if they even give shapa if good karma is not done. So therefore, a lot of uh, pitru karma are also prescribed in the uh, dharma shastras. Here, pinda and udaka kriya, pinda kriya and udaka kriya, there is dvandva. Pinda kriya, udaka kriya, you can take as dvandva, uh, and that is lupta. Lupta means it has gone. Why is it gone? Because kula itself has undergone nasha. Those who destroy the kula, they will also destroy this pinda and udaka kriya. Thereby, lupta pinda udaka kriya ha santaha pitaraha patanti. They will definitely have a fall because there is nobody to offer them pinda. And if the pinda is not offered, they will not get gati. If they don't get gati, they will have a fall. So, they will not, they cannot remain in pitruluka anymore. They will fall to whichever loka is uh, next in line for their fructification of their karma. And uh, just as an aside, in Mahabharata, uh, Narada Muni comes from uh, Swarga, Indra Loka, Swarga, and he also comes from Pithi. He is a wanderer. So, Narada Muni keeps on wandering all lokas and uh, spreading uh, Vishnu's bhajans, uh, Nama Sankirtana, Ityadi. So, when he comes to Yudhishthira, Pandavas, he meets Pandavas and Pandavas, they say, I inquire as to how are these other lokas, etc. He says, in, in the Indra Loka, there is a lot of Sukha. In Pitra Loka, there is Sukha, but then uh, uh, I met uh, Pandu. So, he says that I met your father there. He is happy, but then uh, he is denied entry into Indra Loka because he has not done uh, some karma which is needed. Now, if you do that karma, if you also do that karma, your father wants you to do that karma, if you do that karma, Rajasu Yajna you do, then he will get entry into uh, Indra Loka. So, uh, see the greed, Lobha continues there also. Whether it is, uh, everyone wants Sukha, but wanting more Sukha, even in Pitra Loka, he wants more Sukha. He says, if my children do this, if they do this Rajasu Yajna, then I will get, uh, get to be uh, along with Indra and then I will get more Sukha. So, he sends a message and not only for him, he says that you will also enjoy. So, you will enjoy and I will enjoy. I could not do it when I was uh, in the uh, Manusha Sharira Karma Bhumi, in the, on Karma Bhumi. Why do not you do it? So, he sends a message and then Yudhishthira calls a meeting and actually it is said that Rajasuya Yajna itself is so big a Yajna that so much of wealth is needed. You have to, last time I was mentioning, uh, I could not recall Rajas, I did not mention Rajasuya Yajna. So, in that he has to uh, that in the context of Dhananjaya I may have said, so uh, Arjuna brought a lot of wealth, collected a lot of wealth from a lot of uh, kings and thereby declared Yudhishthira as, a, as an emperor. Either you fight or you give your wealth to that Yajna, this is the, uh, this is the uh, Dharma. There. But in that lot of Kshatriyas are killed because not everyone is going to part uh, and uh, agree to uh, Yudhishthira being the king thereby a lot of uh, Kshatriya blood will be shed. That's a, uh, that's, a, that's a side effect of or that's also an effect of uh, this uh, Rajasri Yajna and Maha, Mahabharata war itself was an effect of that finally. If you keep on linking, then one of the reasons for Mahabharata was also this because Duryodhana came to have a look at these palatial mansions which were, were built by Yudhishthira and uh, he got jealous and there are a lot of stuff which happened. That is also one of the reasons which led to Mahabharata war and lot of uh, bloodshed. Not only Kshatriyas, others also, but primarily Kshatriyas because Duryodhana Ityadi, they were Brahmanas. Okay, I already overshot by five minutes. Anyway, so Sankara, Narakaya, Eva, Kulagnanam, Kulasyacha. So, I will just finish this uh, Anvaya. Kulagnanam, Nanam. Kulagnanam Kulasyacha Entire Kula will take Naraka So Narakaya Eva Narakaya Eva Bhavati What is that? Sankaraha Varna Sankaraha Pitaraha Patanti Which Pitara? Udak Lupta 
सो लुप्ता पिंड उदक क्रिया ये ते और यही ते लुप्त पिंडोदक क्रिया नॉट यही ही ये इज बेटर बिकॉज इट इन पितर यही ही वुड मीन दि चिलड्रन बट देन हियर इट वुड मीन पितर सो लुप्त लुप्ता पिंडोदक क्रिया ये ते ये पितृण ते पितर लुप्तोदक लुप्त पिंडोदक क्रिया लुप्त पिंडोदक क्रिया पितर पतंती एंड हु आर दी पितर पितर सो लुप्त पिंडोदक क्रिया कुलग्ना पितर पतंती and here you can say uh, what is left he so he you can add here indeed they will fall sankara kula nam kula sicha narakaya eva bhavati so this is the anvaya here om shanti 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 hi om tat sat any questions no questions i assume so, okay i'll see you in the next part then namaste sorry for the delay i uh, went a little overboard